How much do you really know about your tank's water chemistry? How often do you test your tank? What things are you checking for? Is it just calcium, alkalinity, magnesium? You check the pH every once in a while. Well, today we're gonna to talk about ICP testing. <laughs> Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. Now today we're going to be talking about ICP testing. What is ICP testing and what is this kit and why am I sending my water off to be tested? Now this is the ICP test from Coral View. There's also a couple other ones. I know Triton is a big one, is a popular one and these test for a lot more than we can test in our reef tank. A lot more of the trace elements that you get results back on. This kit uh, tests for 40 plus element. Okay, so what is ICP testing? ICP stands for inductive couple plasma. How it works is pretty advanced compared to our hobby grade test kits. Um, it uses the water that you send in as a sample. It injects the sample into a plasma chamber that's heated to 10,000 degrees. This intense heat breaks down the water and leaves behind the basic elements. Now each element can then be picked up from just a few drops of water. Sounds very scientific to me. Now I mainly test for calcium, magnesium, and, al and alkalinity, and sending in my water for an ICP test will reveal what trace elements I may be low in or missing altogether. Now these trace elements that are found in the ocean help with coral growth and coral color. So if we can add some of these elements into our reef tanks at home, maybe we can have better growth as well. Now another reason for ICP testing is that it's much more accurate. They test down to the parts per billion. So for me, I have been testing my calcium lately and I just don't know if I believe my test kit. Calcium has been a little high for me at 490 parts per million and I know that the tank isn't 100%, especially with everything else that's going on. I just want to see if my testing is close. Okay, so once you get the ICP test kit here by Coral View, it's very easy to do. All you need to do is go to their website, create an account, and log in. Once you do that, you'll get a unique code to put on your water sample when you send it in. Now, to get your water sample, you simply just take the container, dip it down into your water, fill it up with water, put the cap back on, put your label over the tube, place it in the bag, then put it back into the box that the product came in. And then from there, you can either put postage on the back side of the box and mail it out like that, or it's recommended to use FedEx or UPS. And in my case, I took the box, put it in a padded envelope, sealed it off and I was good to go. Now Coral View's ICP test is based in the USA so the process of sending your test out and then the testing and actually receiving the results should be pretty quick. Now I also want to do a quick shout out to What the Frag on YouTube. He just recently did a video on ICP testing where he compared the three brands that are out there right now. You have the ICP Coral View test, you have the ATI test, and of course the Triton uh, ICP testing. He compared the three brands, how much they cost, um, how long it took to get the results back, what they test for, and all kinds of stuff like that great video I highly recommend you go over to his channel check it out and while you're over there be sure to subscribe as well okay so what's next well I just have to wait I have to wait on the results and now like I said ICP analysis by Coral View is in the US so I should be getting the results back in a few days and as soon as I do I'll let you guys know I'll post an update sharing my results and how this test is going to help me uh, better dial in my reef tank behind me. I look forward to seeing the uh, calcium levels, the magnesium levels to see if my testing is close to that, see if I'm accurate in how 
I've been testing the tank. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think of ICP testing, if you've done it before, what some of your results were, what your experience was, and was it beneficial to you? And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk. Thank you.